This is the book. This is the book. The book. 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 Right. So Gettle did his his famous piece of work in 1931, but um, we think uh, it's still controversial, really, what it means. And uh, we think it's more revolutionary than most people think. We think the incompleteness phenomenon is everywhere, and um, um, that's the controversial position we're defending in this book. In fact, I even think uh, Goethe leads to uh, uh, biology. So, uh, so uh, this book will probably upset some people, but we hope that it's stimulating. We prefer to write a book that will upset some people than to write a boring book. So we hope you'll enjoy it and that it will stimulate you to think new thoughts and go off in new directions. That's our main intention. We're sort of describing the intellectual path that the three of us, <coughs> Newton, Da Costa, uh, Francisco Dori, and I have, uh, have followed over the years, thinking about this very provocative piece of work by Goethe that that some people think they understand, but we think it's much has, is much more important and significant than I think most people think. Well, we can summarize this book in a short slogan. Undecidability and incompleteness are everywhere in mathematics, in the depiction of nature through mathematics, that means in physics, economics, ecology, and whatever. So this is our main claim. And we admit our viewpoints are sometimes quite heterodoxical, but as Greg just said, it's better to upset people to be on the side of heretics than to be on the side of conventional things. So show the book, please. Here's the book. Here's the, the book. book. Okay. And if you are curious about it, the title refers to Post's great romance in its classical English translation, Swan's Way, Goodall's Way. <laughs>